What's up everyone? It's Iceman Oz, aka Jay, straight from the Kangaroo and your living room. Here today, I'm back with another episode I've requested loadout. This is basically the series where you leave me a loadout in the comment section below and I try it out. And look at this, I just th uh, thought I'd throw that in there. Here we go. Come here, bitch! Merry Christmas! Oh yeah, oh you like that, don't ya? Cause you're a special lady. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh man, okay, anyway, I'm back with another episode of Requested Loadout. Today we're taking a look at the MG36C along with a holographic bipod and flash suppressor. First off, let's go over a couple of the stats of the MG36. It has a maximum damage of 25 to a drop off of 19.4 at long range. It has a 0.4 vertical recoil with a 0.1 left and a 0.3 right with 50 rounds in the magazine. Okay, so there are a couple of things that stand out for me. The 0.4 vertical recoil and the 0.3 right recoil uh, seems to be somewhat of an issue for me. I used this gun in a couple of matches on a couple of modes. I used, uh, I played a couple of games on TDM and I played one on Rush and um, for me, Every game mode I played, you know, every time I played with it, the recoil seemed to be an issue for me, um, especially with this loadout. Um, using this loadout, it didn't really help having a bipod because the side-to-side -side recoil is just too much. Um, that's why I recommend using a foregrip instead of a bipod because you need to control that side-to-side -side recoil. I agree with the flash suppressor because it does reduce vertical recoil. Not only that, it uh, removes flash from your gun, so that's awesome as well. The site you recommended to me was the holographic. To me, it's not the best attachment uh, for your sights. To me, I'd rather go with a Cobra because if you're going to be using a bipod, you want to be seeing as much of the screen as possible and you want to be able to see those guys as soon as possible. Even if you're going to go with a foregrip, I'd recommend the Cobra or the RDS because you need to zoom in as quick as possible. The thing is, it hasn't got, it's got a decent rate of fire, but it hasn't got the rate of fire like an M16A3 with 800 or an AK with 900. You need to go into your sights very quickly to take on those assault rifles. If you have a holographic, you know you'll be trying to get your aim and everything. And you can see in this match, I haven't got the best aim. Uh, and maybe that's just because I was off that day, but to me it was because of the holographic and I had to sort of look around my sights almost and uh, it was really hard for me to hit the target, so be sure to keep that in mind also. The other cool thing about the MG36 is it has 50 rounds in the clip, of course it's an LMG so it does uh, have a lot of bullets in the clip so that's always good as well. Uh, a couple of negatives though, it looks like a penis and uh, it has a lot of recoils. <laughs> Uh, so keep them two things in mind. Uh, I recommend uh, you trying out this gun because it is a lot of fun to use. Don't get me wrong. Uh, despite it being look like uh, looking like something I don't want to say again, but um, yeah. So let me know what you think of it. Try a couple of rounds for me and uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Also, what gun uh, should I do next? What gun should I do next? What loadout should I do next? Give me a load out in the comments section below and I'll be sure to try it out for you. So we come to the end of this video, so if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.